Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wives Official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Sister Wives star tells P.O.P.L.E. that everywhere I go, Janelle has to come with me. Knowing she was bringing along not just six kids, but also a sister wife, Christine Brown was anxious about navigating the dating world. Then she met her fiancé, David Woolley. The Sister Wives star tells P.O.P.L. that the bond with Woolley was practically instant. After just two dates, she claims she realized that we actually had something really special. Christine realized that she had some baggage to bring with her, though. He has a lot of kids and I was so worried about coming with all of my history of everything and us and all of our kids together, she adds. When she eventually told her situation, that wherever she goes, her sister wife Janelle Brown is also traveling, she says Woolley's reaction was better than she'd hoped. When I told him I'm like, I have a lot of kids and I have a sister wife and everywhere I go, Janelle has to come with me and all of her children come with me too. There's not just me, she recalls, and he's like, okay, okay. Christine says that her fiancé knew people that lived in polygamy, but he's not a polygamist himself. He knew about polygamy enough, he understood it, and we just clicked and he was just easy, she recalls. He's just chill. Aside from bringing Janelle along in her new partnership, Christine also had a half-dozen children of her own to consider. He has eight kids, and I have six, and when I found out he had so many kids I was like, yes, because I'm not that complicated anymore, she shares, adding, our kids get along really very well. Christine is mother to girls Aspen, Michaelty, Gwendolyn, Ysidable, Truly, and son Payton, who she shares with her ex-husband Cody Brown. The two separated after 25 years of spiritual marriage in 2021. Prior to their breakup, Christine had been in a multiple marriage with Cody's former wives Janelle, Mary, and Robin. Janelle went on to separate from Cody, too, the following year. It was eventually revealed that Cody and Mary were no longer together either. The father of 18 remains legally married to Robin, who he wed in 2014. He shares six children with Janelle. Males Logan, Hunter, Garrison, and Gabriel, and girls Madison and Savannah. Reflecting on her slightly unorthodox past, Christine adds of Wooly, I come with a lot of complications and he loves me, and that's the best thing of all. There's also one significant distinction between her current relationship and her prior one. I think the most important thing that's different is David loves me, he loves me just for me. While her marriage to Cody may not have lasted forever, Christine maintains that her and Janelle's marriages were nonetheless a success. Just because I left, it doesn't mean we failed, Christine previously told P.O.P.L. It means there's change. Our goal was to raise amazing children and we did. It was a success for us. Christine Brown is furious that her sister wife is choosing to spend her birthday with Cody despite the fact that their relationship is deteriorating in the sneak peek offered by P.O.P.L. for Sunday's episode of the hit TLC series. Despite their intense dispute, Janelle Brown intends to spend her birthday with her ex Cody Brown. Janelle, 54, explains why she opted to spend her special day with Cody, 54, even though they were estranged in People's early preview for Sunday's episode of Sister Wives. You know, before Cody and I had our big fight, we had reached a point where we weren't connected, and I was very frustrated with him that he wasn't making an effort to see daughter Savannah, she claims. But on the surface, if I compartmentalize and store all the other stuff, Cody and I can go out and hang out and have a good time. So when he called them, he responded something to the effect of, yeah, hey, it's better than staying home and watching TV. Christine was astonished by Janelle's decision to celebrate with Cody, remarking, I think they're an interesting place. Christine and Cody separated up in November 2021. The relationship is at a pretty exciting moment. She also loves him and as far as I know, still wants to be with him. I am aware of how tough things are, she continues. I'm not sure if Cody and her children have sorted their issues, and I feel that most of our children are currently very annoyed with him. Janelle expresses skepticism about her relationship with Cody in a confessional, saying, At this point, I really don't foresee Cody and I working our relationship out. I have to always be open to the possibility that we will somehow get struck by lightning and that it will all end happily ever after, she adds. 
but I'm also a realist, and I know that it doesn't look good. Christine describes a talk she had with Janelle's daughter, Maddie Brown Brush, and declares strongly that she is always on Janelle's side. Look, your mom just needs to be happy, I remarked to Maddie. I'll back you in doing something that will make your mother happy, she says. I'm going to wholeheartedly support her staying in Flagstaff, if she wants to. I'll back her in doing whatever she wants to do, including continuing with Cody, no issues. She confesses that their most recent confrontation was the worst fight they had ever encountered, but she is still optimistic that things would remain quiet for her birthday celebration. She states, I don't want any fighting. I just want to enjoy myself and celebrate the day, the speaker remarked. Failing forward is still motion, says Janelle Brown of living in an RV this summer. Janelle Brown is throwing in the towel on her mobile home for now. On Sunday, the Sister Wives star published a video to Instagram addressing her followers about her first reaction being failure when it came to using her trailer this year. Brown opens the video by explaining that she's inside the mobile home because it's time to put it away for the winter. My first reaction is that this has been a failure, Brown acknowledges, revealing that she hasn't spent a lot of time living in the trailer this summer. I just really, really overestimated how much free time I was going to have and be able to come up here, the Sister Wives actress revealed. But she's not feeling down on herself about the decision. We always want to beat ourselves up for things that we try and they don't work, she says. We feel like, oh, I should have been smarter, but hindsight's 20 20th's right. Brown then confesses that she has learned a lot. She adds some of the positive things she's done with the mobile home this summer, saying that she got the trailer ready because Maddie and Caleb and I and the babies will be using it more in the future. Speaking of her daughter Madison Brown Brush, her husband Caleb Brush and their three children, Avi, Axel, and Josephine Lee. I proved to myself that I could do this, she adds, before adding that there was probably a lot of things I've learned or confidence I've gained, even though I hardly used this trailer at all this summer. Brown tries to find a lesson in the episode, saying she needs to allow grace for when you have something that goes cuckoo. She concludes that failing forward is still motion, before signing off with a grin. Brown launched off her summer in the RV in May, and forecasted her lack of free time to use the mobile living space. The trailer is ready to go for the summer, the Sister Wives star stated in an Instagram picture, adding it took a few weeks. Some of it was finding the time to break away and drive up there. Once I hit the road I'm always glad I did, she continued. Some of it is the self-doubt that still creeps in and tells me I'm crazy for breaking out of my routine and trying something really outside my box. Brown originally bought the trailer in June 2021. At the time, she described the RV as her new summer adventure, after her prior rental was sold. The rental where I was living was sold and I chose an alternative path to trying to find another rental, Janelle stated in an Instagram post. Not only is the housing market in Flagstaff as crazy as where you are I'm sure, rentals are even harder to come by. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.